subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone, we're back at one of our favorite places. Today on Lady Mary Bath, I'm taking you inside Franklin Antique Mall, located in the heart of historic downtown Franklin, Tennessee. We are looking for design inspiration, great gifts, and we will set a seasonal table. Join me. Their sign says it all, home decor, antiques, and gifts, and that is just what we're looking for today. Let's go through these antique wooden doors and walk into a wonderful world of design and fabulous finds. It's always a fun day at the Franklin Antique Mall, and it's been very crowded this week in the store. They are set for Easter with those bunnies and wonderful design elements. Welcome to the Franklin Antique Mall, the former ice house here in Franklin, Tennessee. 12,000 square feet of vintage and antique treasures. As we enter the store, we are greeted with the classic blue and white and current design elements, and some great florals. Let's have a look at the store. They've got great design elements in the store, and this gives us some ideas to mix the vintage and new for a carefully curated look that's fresh and definitely fitting with your lifestyle and your taste. Candles, lamps, florals, and ceramics. Love that blue and white. It's a fun spring look. And here we've got a swan at the top of this cabinet. And we also get ideas on how to arrange things and to present our collections. And we're going to find another room that is full of florals and I will show you how you can pull all of these elements together from the store to create a festive look. I even found a tablecloth for our setting and that bunny is quite welcoming. One of my favorite rooms as you walk in on the left, they always have some deals here, some wonderful things that I will be sharing with you today, including some dishes that got away rather quickly. And marble top tables definitely have my attention. These have a Victorian look and the price is right. The room is full of these fantastic marble top tables. And they're all in great condition. This marble top side table is yet another reason that we shop for antiques. The quality and craftsmanship you cannot find in new furniture today. This is a Victorian Gothic revival with lots of finials. It's a fantastic piece, well priced at 120. I've seen this for over 500 at other antique stores. I'm often asked how to display a punch set or how to store it. And I think you should put it on a round table just like this. Here's a look at these lovely Linux dishes with a platinum rim. Had my eye on these, but I decided to leave them for someone else and I'm glad I did because it took probably all of an hour and they flew out the door. There's that beautiful Linux back stamp with a laurel leaf design. Linux Moonspun launched in 1968 and retired in 1995. It is a classic pattern with a platinum band. And this is a bargain, $100 for a set of 32. That works out to be a little over $3 per piece for fine china. I find it interesting that these were designed in 1968, the year that my parents married, and they were discontinued the year I married in 1995. Still stylish for quite a few years. Some serveware. We'll take a closer look at this. I have some ideas to share with you. And this is a tomato server. You'll see this in silver plate and sterling silver. Well priced at $14. It's always a good idea to have extra serving utensils on hand. And of course, that also makes a great gift. This vintage 
King Edward silver plate offset pie server you could use for quiche, pizza, of course cakes, and you could tie festive ribbons here, whether it's pastel for an Easter hostess gift or something fun and festive for the holidays or a birthday for $10. That is an excellent idea. A biscuit barrel is practical. You could use this, of course, for cookie storage, use it on a vanity in a bedroom, place just about anything inside for storage, or display it. This has a pewter handle and lid priced at $65. It is hand painted. And these are great gifts right here. I am definitely eyeing the jam jar. I find it to be a very practical item, also referred to as a honey pot. Beautiful etching. This is a winner. A sterling lidded jam jar. Isn't that fantastic for $16? Look at that finial. You could fill this with the robin egg candies for a sweet Easter surprise. A great deal at $16. I did take this home. I have a weakness for sterling silver, especially when it is well priced. Beautiful gallery tray and a familiar table. This is Duncan Fife. We can tell by that harp design. It may remind you of a recent segment where I filmed an estate sale with this very table priced at $245. Great for the entryway. Marble top tables, I think, add a bit of culture and class to your environment and of course they're much more affordable than what you can find today in what is often referred to as disposable furniture from some of the box stores that you put together we have a marble top table in our family we refer to as the civil war table because it's been around since that era and it is definitely still useful teapots are fun to collect and to use and they've got quite a few sizes here including tea for one and that ivy pattern has my attention. Looks to be Wedgwood Queensware. Just has that stately look. Let's turn it over and look at the back stamp. Sure enough, it is Wedgwood. The Stratford pattern. And that's priced at $25. This resembles Port Merion, but it's actually Poole, England with a more modern back stamp. Great for your morning tea. And that's priced at $26. These mugs are pretty and practical. Can't wait to see the back stamp on these. Another great find with this set of Crown Staffordshire mugs. These work out to be $5 each, 30 for the set. Has a beautiful floral design, a regal back stamp and this would make a great party favor. You could place it each table setting with your favorite tea bag, of course, to elevate your everyday morning tea, coffee, or hot chocolate by the fire. I found some great things over the years on this very shelf. And remember to always look down below when you're shopping, you might find something wonderful. And this tabletop essential does not disappoint. Look at that beautiful rose pattern. A bottom shelf advantage with this Heisey Rose Vintage Sandwich Server. This was designed in 1949 by Jane Phillips for Heisey, has that center handle, and the Heisey Rose pattern became an immediate bestseller. This is $55, would be a great addition to your tabletop collection. These Waterford Lismore Clarets are presented in a presentation box. That is not something that I've seen since the 1980s. Well priced at $50, these currently retail for $110 each. And that, of course, would be a great gift. Here's a smaller version of a sandwich server, also from Fostoria, the Romance pattern, well priced at $26. It feels good in the hand, easy to carry from the kitchen to the table. I highly recommend these, and you can store them upside down into a bowl and then you even have more storage space on top of the bottom of the server. Balik always has my attention. And this is a sweet piece with that green back stamp. And I have shared recently how you can research that. And if you follow me on social media, especially on Lady Mary Beth's table, our Facebook group page, you will see the chart that I've shared. 
a pair of modern Lismore napkin rings. Price at $28. That's a great price. They retail for over $100 for the pair. These happen to have an etching and a date. Looks like September of 2000 and an artist's signature which does not enhance the value. I get that question a lot. I think it really takes away. If it's only the artist signature, that's great. But once you personalize it, it becomes something special for you and would be harder to resell. Here's a single candle holder. And I know many of us want a matched pair, but I think it's a good idea because you can certainly build a story with several of these. And the price is right. You can find great items for $10 and under at your local antique shop. This classic Waterford candle holder is $10. It has a beautiful design. It's a heavy piece. Certainly a quality that you don't find anymore in the Waterford crystal today. It's made in Ireland. And this sweet and petite Bleak creamer is great for dessert sauce, for your milk, for your morning tea, and of course syrup at $9. That is a fantastic find. Etched glassware is a quality and craftsmanship that we do not have today. These are well priced at $10. A stem in that Tiffin Cherokee rose pattern launched in 1941 and was discontinued in 1966. And I think it is always in style. And it's great to have a pair of glasses. You could also make that a gift with your favorite beverage. Fostoria Fairfax, beautiful blue, also priced at $10 a stem. and a very familiar pattern in a serving dish that I actually haven't seen before. These individual salt cellars are $35. The Fastori American pattern was launched in 1915 and it was their most prolific pattern and the most successful in US glass making history. And I have not seen these before, individual salt cellars, and this one has the original sticker, $35 for a set of five. And you may be thinking that's something outdated. You may not use a salt cellar today. This is great for dipping sauce. This square candle holder is stately with a beautiful floral design. Let's turn it over and look at the back stamp. It is made by Coalport, a company later acquired by Wedgwood, in the Ming Rose pattern. This was active from 1970 to 1993. $24 is a fair price. I've seen this for $75 and up on the secondary market. Mid-century finds in this room. I'll share several of these with you, including an iconic dish pattern. The Franciscan Ivy was made by Gladding McBean and Company in California. It was designed in 1948, and I grew up with this as our everyday and sipped my first hot tea out of one of these cups. And you might recognize it from I Love Lucy. That was part of their set. And even the black and white TV show, you can discern this pattern. It used to be hard to find, now I'm seeing more and more. Mid-century glass is fun, highly collectible, and you find some great colors today, including one that is rather popular. Vintage glass is experiencing a resurgence with the mid-century designs, and amber in particular is a favorite color amongst millennials. This is part of the Epic line from Viking Glass, priced at $59. This candy dish can be used in many rooms of your home. You could fill it with cotton balls for your powder room. Of course, a candy dish, spiced pecans. It could also be part of your centerpiece. This cake pedestal is very mid-century, but yet it has sort of a depression glass design to it. I like that combination and the petal shape. $63 in that very popular amber color. And this would be great for those warm tone seasons, the fall. And I can also see it for spring and summer. It kind of has that honey look about it. Great for cakes and pastries or to elevate just about anything. TV lamps are fun. We have talked about these in a previous segment at Cherry Street Antiques in Tomball, Texas, and that was once a staple for your TV. Priced at $90. This one says it's from the 1930s. I enjoy this room. It's always fun and full of great ideas. Definitely mixes that modern with 
some vintage pieces for an eclectic look. And we also have some seasonal touches here. Love that rabbit hat. And some depression glass plates that I have not seen before. And again, we see that color that's becoming more and more beloved and an interesting shape and a complete set. I'm sure these will sell quickly. Usually you find depression glass, maybe just a handful of plates. A depression glass find with these Lorraine basket square plates made by the Indiana Glass Company in the 1930s has a beautiful design, love the shape. These are priced at $85 for a set of 12 and that is certainly a good find to have a complete set. Blue is my color and this design reminds of the Art Deco era. Just love everything about it. Originally, this would have been offered as a three-piece set. You could purchase the matching candle holders for display on your dining table, and that's something I would love to collect. The Versailles pattern from the Fastoria Glass Company is one of their prettiest. Look at that beautiful shell design. This console bowl is priced at $89. It's a pattern that was made from 1928 to 1943. It differs from depression glass because it actually was made by skilled artisans and hand polished. This is something you would have found in jewelry stores or fine department stores. Green is definitely the color for spring. Another reason to look on the bottom and here we have a basket that's very appropriate for the season as well often referred to as a banana basket well priced at 28 dollars i had one that i gave to my daughter for her college apartment and i thought it might get that back but she actually gifted it to a friend who admired it and i just love that the younger generation is embracing a vintage find that wreath could be incorporated into a table centerpiece I got some great ideas here and I think I might use some of these for our seasonal table that is coming up. Stay tuned in this segment and here I will be shopping for some silk florals to add to some vessels that we're finding today and some decorative elements as well. Fine antiques in this booth and those Urn vases are incredible. I'll tell you more about them. I like to look for quality furnishings at antique malls, and you can't get a better name than Henradon. This is a 1980s Chippendale style chest with a Queen Anne legs, priced at $4.95, and they tell us that the retail will be closer to $1,600, and that is a great find. And you could certainly store some napkins and other things here. It could go as an entry table, even in a bedroom as a nightstand. I do appreciate it when a vendor can give us some backstory or perhaps a comparative pricing on an item. It makes our shopping decision that much easier. And clearly from 1200 to 325, that is quite a savings. A pair of exquisite porcelain urn vases. And the seller tells us that these are from Chelsea House. They can be found at One Kings Lane for $1,100. And here the price is $325 for the pair. You'll see that nautical motif, the gilt paw feet. Great for a mantle or entry table. Beautiful lamps and an incredible pair of candelabras. You will notice the combination of brass and porcelain with that cherub design. These are quite unusual. And I like that they have hard to find items. It's not only the great gifts and affordable things that we like. 1,500 for the pair of these French candelabras. Delft on the bottom shelf. This looks to be an older piece. It's an oversized vase. Just love this and that classic blue and white. And let's turn it over, look at that back stamp. And it seems to be from 1909. And the seller gives us some more information Valued at $175 and their price is $89. And a very fun element here with your floral design with a nice variety of flower frogs. And if you follow Julie Davies with Flower Start, you will learn ways to use these. I will share her information in the video description and I hope that you take a look at her YouTube channel and follow her on social media. 
Love this piece for $29.75. I'll tell you more about it. Flower frogs are collectible and practical. This is a great example of Cam Arc Pottery, a company that started in 1926, founded by an Ohio businessman that was looking for a great location, and he found a spot in Camden, Arkansas, therefore the name Cam Arc. This is under $30, and I quite like it. Could even use it as a pencil holder. There's a vessel here inside as well. It could also be a decorative object to add to a centerpiece or any area of your home. They have a nice variety of the artistic and everyday flower frogs. Some of these would have been placed at the bottom of a vessel, such as this green flower frog for $24.75, and then the others would have more of a presence within the arrangement and part of the design. And these are also highly collectible. There's some great examples of simple glass flower frogs and then the exotic from the Cambridge Glass Company, the bashful Charlotte. She's a bit more revealing than the draped lady that we know. Isn't she fun? This is a great way to add interest to your centerpiece. It is under $50 and you could place this in a console bowl. It would even work in that Versailles that we just saw from Fostoria. And I think that that is a really fun addition in your floral arranging. So much to discover here. I'm just happy I can share some of the items with you that are unique that could add to our table setting and also great gift items. This booth has everything at 30% off, including two pieces of Waterford crystal, a decanter and a footed bowl. This is now $28 for the Coralie. Unfortunately, it does have a chip in it. I think maybe a customer was handling it. Maybe something happened. But I did go back the next day and found a Waterford Crystal Vintage Pitcher for $16.80. If you follow me on social media, I will be sharing that very soon. And it even has the original sticker. Vintage barware is more popular than ever. The aqua and gold combination is pleasing, it's current, love it. Cocktail party perfect with the Culver Carnival highballs. Love that combination of aqua and gold, mid-century at its finest. And there's even a snack tray here for serving hors d'oeuvres. They've got the highballs, lowballs, and everything else you need for that cocktail party. A set of six mid-century highballs is priced at 120. I actually have that pair of flutes that a friend gifted me. They're newer and double of fashions. Blue and white is calling my name. I just have to take a look at these dishes. This would be great for a wall hanging. You'll notice that those are different sizes. Oh, they do call it a hanging set priced at $98 from Johnson Brothers. A classic look. And this server I think would be perfect for tea time. Looks to be hand painted from Lefton, priced at $49. That tidbit tray I think could elevate your everyday. The classic white ironstone. I'll tell you more about it. Ironstone is pottery known for its durability and strength. It is made of cornwall clay and feldspar. It is glazed, making it impermeable to water. This is something that was often used in the 1800s, and we've got some great examples of it today. Ironstone is much heavier than pottery or porcelain, and it is, of course, quite durable. And these pictures you could certainly use for so many purposes, including florals. This is from Homer Laughlin, priced at $125. And there's that back stamp. It was made for hotel service. And you know it has to be sturdy. And this other one is $78. And let's look at that back stamp. It is made in Staffordshire. And it is from Richard Alcock. blue and gold. I just love this. It even has a bit of a masculine look with that laurel pattern. And you'll notice the teacup is also a modern shape. 
sold as a set. $120 and you've got six cups and saucers from Coalport. And they do let us know it is a discontinued pattern. And that was taken over by Wedgwood. A very modern look. And you'll notice that handle even had some embellishment. And it has a double rim. Look at the inside. And the blue wheat pattern. I think that would go very well with my crown gold. And we may have found our plates for our spring setting. Love all the vibrant colors. Such detail. And I will tell you more about the history of this manufacturer. And if you needed eight plates, you could certainly mix that with your white pattern and just alternate $99.95 for a set of four. The perfect plate for our spring table. Steubenville Pottery was started by some Ohio businessmen in Steubenville, Ohio. They are known for their American modern dinnerware that was released in 1939, designed by Russell Wright. The plant closed in 1959 and they sold their molds to Cannonsburg Pottery. To my surprise, I see something amazing on this shelf with that reticulated silver rim. It looks to be sterling silver, priced at $49.50. They tell us it is Royal Worcester in the Porsche pattern. Let's turn it over and look at the back stamp. That is an older one, I can tell. And it has to be sterling silver. It just has that look to it. I am over the moon excited to have found this hidden gem. It is a Royal Worcester Porsche plate surrounded by sterling silver. And of course, I did look for that back stamp and the hallmark on the silver. It's reticulated, amazing, and definitely going home with me today. A bit of right silver polish will clean that up, and this will be great for serving anything, tea time, or even displaying. What a deal. Another iconic pattern, also made in California by Gladding McBean and Company, Desert Rose. It launched in 1941, and it was designed by Annette Honeywell. You will see the two different looks, even though it's the same pattern. The one on the left is original, the one on the right this one that was later made in China. And it had many different manufacturers, it was acquired by Interpace and later Waterford Wedgwood, where it was eventually made in China. While you could mix the two, they are quite different. The craftsmanship definitely lost something over the years. This is one of the original rimmed soups, and it has that Franciscan back stamp. And now we'll find some delightful things in the case. I just love silver and they have plenty of it for us today, including Tiffany and Company, salt and pepper shakers, just about everything you might need for tabletop, including that all important berry spoon and pastry forks. The forks are priced at $75. Very European. This is a basic piece in our flatware set in Germany. And look at these. Berry spoon set. 125. Sterling silver was highly valued by Victorian families around 1837 to 1901. And we do find some great examples here and very good prices. A pair of candle holders for 125, some berry spoons, and you'll notice those along with the pastry forks are in their original boxes. These were coveted and enjoyed by families. And you can find many of these today in antique stores and also at the Portobello Road Market in London. And I would say most of the items that you find in these boxes tend to be sterling silver. Always look for the hallmark. Delicate porcelain pieces featured here in this cabinet, including a hand-painted covered vegetable. And a Dresden sconce. That's a fantastic piece. It is priced at 325 and a fashionable inkwell. These are actually highly collectible. It's priced at 795. Vibrant colors. And a pair of covered urns. These are Sèvres. You'll notice that French design with the gilt. 
and it's priced very affordably, 250 for the pair. Transferware, Flow Blue, there's so much to discover in this booth, including a Blue Willow pitcher, not something you see too often. I would use that for flowers. And the classic blue and white ranges in age from probably about the 1960s to the 1800s. That blue Danube pattern is made in Japan. We've talked about that at length in previous segments. The Flow Blue and Ridgeway. $39.95 for this Wedgwood plate dates back to 1841. And the Ridgeway is the India Temple pattern, $47.95. And with the flow blue, you often find that the back stamp has that same look, which means it's hard to decipher. Might have better luck with the transfer wear. It's a beautiful plate. And there's the India temple. It would be perfect to display. Port Merion is a pattern that I collect and it's really fun. You can mix that with green Villaroy and Boch chargers. You could have lots of fun. Think of all the colors that you could pull from that. And the plates are all unique. And true collectors look for made in England. You find a lot of pieces at discount stores that are made in China, not as desirable. Imperial candle wick, great for serving and gifting. You could tie ribbons on those handles. and more blue and white, ready for spring with those bunnies. And you'll notice that these are actually from Mikasa. They are newer pieces, and I think they're fantastic. Chinoise Ri, the hunting scene, and Peter Rabbit. I love these plates. They'd be perfect for Easter, $14.95. I can't say that I've seen these before. Quite unique, maybe for children's tea. Another beautiful basket. See how simple that would be? Just put some tulips inside and you've got a great centerpiece. Price at $30, that's a good deal. Here's a closer look at that Mikasa bunny. And I like how they show us how to mix some of the newer elements in our setting. What a wonderful shade of blue. Diamond pattern cobalt, $78.95 for the set. Vintage just adds such interest to your table. Well worth it. Now we'll go down to the other section of the store, which is probably where they originally stored the ice in the ice house. And we find some great Easter inspiration. Look at that brass basket. I just love it. Price at $34. That would be a great centerpiece. Paired with the blue and white chinoiserie, the blue willow pattern, and you'll see some great ideas, including placing a table favor right in the teacup. This is a fun table. And now we will go to the milk glass, which I often refer to as the little black dress of tabletop. You can dress it up and dress it down. And that egg wreath we might use in our centerpiece. Hobnail is a wonderful Fenton piece here with that blue. Price at $26. That's a good price. Would be another great hostess gift. And this is a basket that I've recently fallen in love with. It is made by Fenton in the daisy and button pattern. You'll see that twig handle. In the milk glass, price at $17. I have it in amber. They made it in several colors and I hope to collect all of them including clear, and that's from the 1960s. Creamers, those you can use for syrup and so many different purposes. You'll see the silver plated pitcher is also used as a vase. And a pretty in pink tray. I have my eyes on this Florentine tray, a practice that dates back to the 14th century in Florence, Italy where these are primed 
decorated, gilded, burnished, and glazed by hand. This is priced at $75. It's rather lightweight, which is great for serving. This might be a good addition for our spring setting. And there's the back stamp from Fidenza, which is Florence, Italy. There were several viewers that saw me post that on social media, and one of them was lucky enough to get it. This green pitcher is from the Jeanette Glass Company in the Hex Optic. It's uranium, priced at $48. I like that it's not too tall. That's great for juice in the morning. This I might add to our table. And now we are going to look at some water for crystal lamps. And I will tell you, I found a pair of master cutter vases here that were enormous, very well priced when I popped in in December and I drove those home to Houston to my friend Laura and she was delighted to have them. These are also well priced. A great price on a pair of water for crystal Innesem hurricane lamps. There are two parts to these lamps. They are solid crystal, electric, and I think a great addition to your home. $199 each is a fair price. They go for about $500 and up on the secondary market. And you know, Waterford has dissolved their lighting wear division. It's a great opportunity to have a beautiful piece of crystal to light up your life. A very unique find just blew in. This windmill is something that I have not seen in mantle or hearth decor. And it seems like a lot, but I think it's actually a fair price. And for all my viewers in the Netherlands, I think you would love this. Wish I could send it right over to you. An unusual find with this antique brass fireplace tool set. And it is Dutch themed, obviously, with the windmill priced at $5.99, which may seem high, but actually I've seen it for over $2,000 on the secondary market. Lots of detail here. Wouldn't that be a fun addition? <laughs> Anything opalescent just makes my heart sing. And this has a very unique design and that ruffled edge. It's a berry bowl set. And I am eyeing the individual bowls for our spring table. And here we are about to get pretty for the season with some decorative elements as well that I may pull from. Look at that beautiful quilt. And now it's time to have some fun with all of these finds at Franklin Antiques. Here is our table. It already looks pretty, but I'm going to set it with some vintage elements. Those bunnies really are perfect. And the table is also for sale. And I do like that they incorporate the contemporary items as well. Price it $2,450 and you can see the list price was $3,350 so you're getting a deal on the whitewash dining set. Has very much a French look to it and here are some of the elements that I pulled together. What do you think? It's going to be colorful that's for sure and you'll see those vintage cake stands. There's just so much. It was hard to narrow it down, so I just thought I would bring some things together, including some baskets, elegant glass of the Depression era. I pulled together some elements so that we could create a spring table just in time for Easter. And of course, you can look to those classic pastel colors, anything with bunnies, eggs, carrots, and of course, that vintage glass is always a nice addition. Let's hop to it. It is such fun to shop the store. A bit of whimsy is never a bad idea. You'll notice I pulled together some paperweights as well. And even the tablecloth came from that first booth as you enter on the left, the one with the marble top tables. I was glad to find one to fit this. And the back side of the centerpiece is also interesting because after all, you have folks that sit all around the table and there's a crystal egg and a Waterford shamrock paperweight. And that's a great sign of spring. This one I think was priced about $45. And I have stacked cake stands, including the Ellie Smith moon and stars and that egg wreath and ceramic bunnies. 
And you could say this is vintage. It was made by Penny in 1980. And it's only $10. That's definitely an affordable addition to your Easter table. Here's that picture perfect. Great element to add. Even has a fun design inside. Shop your home and local antique store when setting a seasonal table. Our inspiration is the Steubenville Pottery Plate. Pulling together those pastel colors and adding some vintage glass. My favorite is this ice beverage in the Tiffin Flanders design. The opalescent berry bowls are ideal for fresh fruit with brunch or a side salad. Above the dinner plate, you will see the Fostoria American Pattern Salt Cellar with the original sticker. You could fill that with jelly beans and then anchor a place card in the center. The bunny ears definitely carry out the theme and give purpose for all these vintage pieces. Creating a centerpiece can be fun and rather easy if you build up. You will notice that I have two cake pedestals that I've placed here and on top the Fostoria Versailles console bowl with a whimsical addition, pulling a rabbit out of a hat, and of course anchored by our Florentine tray that has those fun colors. And you too can shop your antique store and create an interesting centerpiece. So glad you joined me today for the Franklin Antique Mall. We found lots of treasures and I'm taking home the sterling silver and china plate. It was fun getting ready for spring with a seasonal table, pulling all the elements from this antique mall to create a fun and festive look. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with antique shopping.